Welcome to this video where we are going to solve one of the questions under dimensional analysis. So the first question goes like this, uh, saying the relation between force, which is F, and density D is F has to be equal to Y over square root of D. Determine the dimensions of Y. So these people are telling us that we have force, which is equal to Y over the root of D. Where F is the force, D is the density. D is the density. Sorry. D is the density. So what are you supposed to do on this um, same question? First of all, you need to know the dimensions for force and the dimensions for density. We know that force is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration which is going to give us the dimensions for this one. We have the dimensions as M. For that one, we have L T to the power negative 2. For density, we know that this is mass. So it to be mass per volume. The dimensions for volume has to be L to the power 3. And then for mass, has to be uh, the same capital M. So we're going to have M. L the power negative three. So these are dimensions for uh, for density and those for for force. Then we can just replace here and there, but you have to be very careful because of this square root which is down there. What are you supposed to do? You have to make sure that you write this one in a proper way. So we are going to have the dimensions for force here. I'll write them as m l t the power negative two. A close. I say equal to y over the dimensions for density supposed to be m l to the power negative three like this so for you to get the dimensions for y you have to cross multiply here so since this one is square root it's just one and the same like writing it to the power half meaning that y is going to be equal to you say m l t to the power negative two then you multiply this by m L to the power negative 3, power 1 over 2. This one is going to be part of this and that one because we are multiplying. So we're going to have y equal to m L t to the power negative 2, say dot m to the power 1 over 2, then L, since we're having negative 3 multiplied by that, we're going to get negative 3 over 2. You combine this and that. So since this is raised to power 1, and also this one raised to power 1. If you add with that, what answer are you going to get? Definitely, I'm going to get y equal to m to the power 1 plus 1 over 2 dot l to the power 1 minus 2 minus 3 over 2 dot t to the power negative 2. Meaning that y will be equal to m. If you add this, you're going to get 3 over 2 dot l. If you try to subtract here, we're going to get negative 1 over and t to the power negative 2. Therefore, the dimensions for y is supposed to be m to the power 3 over 2 t to the power sorry, let me write it like in a proper way. So we're going to have y equal to m to the power 3 over 2. You divide by l to the power 1 over 2 dot t square, which is just what I same like um, this can just be as uh, the square root of m, you say the power 3 over the root of l dot t squared. This becomes the dimensions for m. Thank you for watching.